First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 1 to 12. While Peter and John were speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came to them, much annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming that in Jesus there is the resurrection of the dead. So they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word believed, and they numbered about five thousand. The next day their rulers, elders and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Annas, the high priest, Caiaphas, John and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly family. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, By what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, If we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, but there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. The Word of the Lord. My friends, the Gospel today invites us to be courageous and to be men of hope. As we listen to the words of Jesus in today's Gospel, let us ask our good Lord to bless us so that we may, lose, we may not lose our hope in Jesus our Saviour. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to his disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, you have no fish, have you? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. The disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes, for he was naked, and jumped into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land only about a hundred yards off. When they had gone ashore, 
they saw the charcoal fire there with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel we see something interesting taking place. That is, Peter tells the other apostles, other disciples, I am going fishing. I am going fishing. Now what is he telling the other disciples? I was a fisherman before I started following Jesus. Now that he is no more, I am going back to my own way of life, my former way of life. I am going fishing. My friends, this is interesting. Now, some of the apostles followed Jesus thinking him to be a political messiah. Well, they thought that Jesus would overthrow the Roman Empire and bring about a new kingdom, new kingdom in the land of Israel. That this was their idea. They thought that Jesus will become the new kingdom or rather the new king in that kingdom that he is gonna, going to establish. And they also thought that they would sometimes become some ministers in this kingdom. So their idea of Jesus' redemption was a political one. They thought that he would become the king of Israel. He, he thought him to be a political messiah. But when they crucified him, my friends, they just lost that hope. And they were giving up. And that is what we see in today's gospel. Peter says, I am going fishing. I go to my former way of life. It is now useless. He is no more. My friends, sometimes we are also in the same boat like the apostles, like the disciples. When we do not receive the things we ask for, we give up. We give up. We give up our faith in Jesus Christ. Sometimes, my friends, in life, we have become beggars. We ask for things. We ask the Lord to give us this, that and the other. And when the things are not given, not granted, we lose that hope. We give up like the apostles in, in today's gospel. But the invitation of the Lord is very clear today. He invites us not to give up, not to give up. Well, there are people who give up their faith when they do not receive the things they ask for. But there are also people who are ready to give up their lives, who are ready to lay down their lives for the message of Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of God. And that is why we see people being killed in numbers in some of the countries in the world for their faith, for their faith. They were not ready to deny that faith in Jesus Christ, but they rather embraced death. So their life is a challenge to us. 
Their life is a challenge to us. When we give up our hope in Jesus Christ, when we give up our hope in, hope in Jesus Christ for not giving us the things we ask for, my friends, Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us and he wants us to be happy. But sometimes, my friends, we are carried away so much by the things of this world. We have become slaves to the things of this world. And we, to a, cert to a, to a certain extent, have become uh, slaves or rather beggars. When we go to church, what do we do? We, we ask for things. We ask for things. But then, but then, my friends, that should not be our attitude. That should not be our attitude. Good enough, we can ask for things. But if we give up our faith in Jesus Christ for not giving us the things we ask for, then there is something. Then there is something that we need to question. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, let us not give up our hope in him like the apostles did, but rather hold on to him. Let us pray today that Jesus may accompany us like he accompanied the apostles so that we may not lose our hope in him. Have a blessed day and may God bless you.